Welcome back to Grim Fandango. You find me here having arrived just outside of the petrified forest. What a terrible level. <laughs> but I've been told that the game only gets better from there. And uh, in other news, I think it was Little Cave, sorry if I'm wrong, that recommended to me that I should be looking at the items in my inventory more often. What's the inventory button? Oh, it's this thing. And uh, seeing what he has to say about them. My scythe. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. Do we just have the scythe now? Well, I guess we do. Well, anyways, uh, apparently that is supposed to be a much better way to go about uh, interactions and make sure I don't get too stumped. So I will be doing that more now. Uh, I know it's not fun to just watch me use a walkthrough the whole way through, but damn, this game is really hard when it comes to progression. So it looks like we have some kind of lighthouse here. Oh, look at this sad sap. Mr. Flores, I'm ready to take you now. Manny Calavera, is that you? <laughs> Didn't you used to be taller? I'm looking for a Mercedes Colomar. I'm looking for a woman named Mercedes Colomar. Well, no one's come through town by that name, and you can take it from me. I, too, am looking for someone, so I watch the comings and goings around here very carefully. Who are you looking for? Who are you looking for? Well, if you must know... It's about my wife. I got word that she passed away not long after I, and that she too was crossing the land of the dead on foot. It is said that all lost souls come to Rubakava, so I came here to wait for her. Huh. Well, I hope you find her, man. You must love her very much, also. Yes, this is true. Of course, she also has all of my money. Oh, wait, this is Celzo? Yeah, this is the guy from the opening cutscene, isn't it? I recognize the stress marks on his skull. Huh. I'm here to reclaim that walking stick. I broke it over the head of some hideous monsters in the forest. <laughs> huh. Well, I'll help him find his wife. I'll help you find your wife. What did she look like? Oh, here. I got this from the DOD and made copies to hand out. Isn't she something? She must have been beautiful with skin. Weren't we all? <laughs> Weren't we all? How do you know your wife hasn't gone ahead of you? Oh, Manny. If she had arrived here first, surely she would have waited for me. Hmm, let's hope. So, no a good place to stay in town? What's your price range? Somewhere around the high end of nothing. Then maybe, young man, it's time you started thinking about a job. Damn, I just got fired. Can you get me a job here? Have any skills? Sales. Well, that does qualify you for a certain position, but we only have one mop. I'm sorry, Manuel. I've got to get this place ready to open. Right. I'll let you know if I see your wife. She'll be the one asking for her beloved Celso. Uh-huh. Very interesting. So, hang on. There's some more stuff to look at in there. There's some windows. Let's up with this. I like our new, like, little army green uniform. It's kind of cool. Hey, how do you open these? You wait till we start serving. That's how. Hmm. All these doors have numbers and pictures of food on them. What's number 22? Who? Can I take some condiments? I have bigger things on my mind right now than condiments. All right. Okay. So we know they're there if we need them eventually. Now, how does one get to the top of that lighthouse? I'm assuming that's going to be important. What's this way? What? Ooh. Oh, shit! Yeah, Holt Scotto skeleton? Holt skeleton? Watch your step around here, stranger. Rubicabe ain't the quaint little port town she used to It's be. literally Holt Skeleton! Look well, at his scarf! Look at his sweater! Looks like there's a new vessel in town. Pardon me whilst I go check her out. Yo! Oh, he's gonna go meet Galatis. Gotta make sure we get involved so he doesn't bite his head off. Well, actually, it's mostly stock with a few mods here and there. So, <laughs> would those be glass packs I'm hearing or turbos? <laughs> the 
there was this one high-pitched whine it was making, really grating noise, you know? And I searched and searched, but I couldn't find the source of the noise until we pulled in here. Was it the blower? No, it was Manny screaming in the back like a cat tied to a cruise missile. <laughs> 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 That's a good one. Hola. Hey, Manny, Doc Master Velasco here says he's got a place we can dry Dr. Bonewagon for a while. Oh, yeah. We can't leave a beauty like this out in the fog or her chrome will get pitted. Pitted? Did you hear that, Manny? Are you folks going to stay in Rubicava for a spell? Ah, uh, we're looking for some people. We're here looking for a woman named Mercedes Colomar. I'm not too good with names. Did she have any distinguishing marks for a tattoo? Not that she showed me. Well... She well, had a birthmark. She, birth said, I'm she said she did. Names as you are with the fog. <laughs> uh huh. How do you get around with all this mist? How do you get around here with all the mist? Uh, when you've strolled these docks as long as I have, Pilgrim, you know where you are by the smell of the sea, by the sound of the lonely foghorn, by the icy touch of the cold, salty air. Wow, Manny, could I have an eye patch? What a great lifestyle. I've always wanted to live on the coast somewhere and just be a, a salty Holt Scotto man myself. But I'm sure it's much easier said than done. I might be here a while. Is there any work in this town? Well, there's lots of work down at the docks, but it's all union work. <laughs> and I just don't see you in that union. <laughs> That's fair. I'm not sure why Manny is so insistent we're going to be here for forever, but let's go with it. Can I just ask... What is under the eye patch? Because I know it's not an eye. Oh, well, when I was alive, I had an eye patch like this. This one's just for the phantom pain. And that one eye socket used to scream like a banshee when the trade winds blew, so I plugged her. Hey, Manny, we were in the middle of a conversation here. Hey, hey, okay. All right, I'll let you two car enthusiasts get back to it. <laughs> Look at his body language, he's in love. <laughs> I think I'll wait for the fog to clear before I try exploring town again. Alright, so that was the town that way, and we fell off the side of the cliff. Very cool. Well, I'm a bit puzzled then, but I'm sure I'll find something to do. What's up with you, Selzo? Are you sure I can't sleep in the back? There's only room for one. <laughs> he's, he's holding out on me, isn't he? I bet he's pissed because we didn't get him a good deal. Oh, you know what? He gave us a picture, didn't he? He said he wasn't good with names. Yeah, I forgot that he gave this it's to us. Celso's wife. Actually, I don't think skin would help. Okay, let's show it to her. Ever seen this woman? Oh, if this is the woman you're looking for, take my advice. Forget about her. She sailed out of here weeks ago in a cozy portside cabin built for two. And she wasn't alone. She wasn't alone? Oh, damn. How am I gonna tell Celzo? How do you know she sailed out of here? I don't believe it. That's a tough break, Junior. But you gotta face it. Here, look it up in my port log if you want it in writing. Six weeks ago on a Tuesday. Ticket for two, paid in full. I cracked the champagne on the bow myself. Hey, Manny! We were in the- Hey, hey, okay. I waved to her from the docks as she sailed out of port, and I never saw her again. What was her name? The SS La Mancha was her name, but don't make me talk about her, because I- Because, because, uh, something, he cut off. Left town on the SS La Mancha. Don Quixote reference. Alright, uh, well, let's go tell Celso the bad news. Maybe he'll give us some mustard and ketchup. Celso, your wife sailed out of here two months ago with another man. Is he just dead inside? And outside? It's all in there. Oh, Manny, is there a greater constant in nature than the treachery of women? <laughs> Forget about her, Celso. Have you forgotten yours? I'm going after her. You take over my job here. This mop at least will never let you down. That compass in the handle will sure come in handy, too. Compass in the handle of my mop. Achievement unlocked year one? How long am I going to be here?
Holy shit, a whole year! Harley? Domino Hurley is caught up to us, it would seem. Hey, boss. You gonna come downstairs? I got a customer asking for you. Wait. You know I don't like to mingle no. with the customers. No, no, that's me. I'm just wearing well, a Han Solo you suit. Wanna mingle with this one? <laughs> she sounds like your type. Shit. Well, so looks like a quiet night in old Ubacaba. Whoa, this place is lit when the fog rolls out. Oh my god. So we're just like... <laughs> we started as a janitor a my year ago. My wartime communications from Salvador. He's been sending me messages like this for the last year. Agent Calavera, I have word that you arrived in Rubacaba safely. This is great news, as your service to the LSA may now continue. I am pleased to report the successful hatching of the eggs you liberated. The hatchlings, which Eva has named Manny and Meche, are quite healthy and eager to serve our cause. With luck... My next letter will be born to you across the sky by these young gossamer wings of truth. Or the revolution, Salvador Limones. I'm not done reading it yet, but maybe later. Nice. Salvador's doing good. Got a little bed here. Can't. What if Meche makes her big arrival and I sleep through it? Meche. Oh, is that... Must be a, a Spanish pronunciation of Mercedes. Ah, Lady Luck. Oh shit. I'm gonna be honest, this is this is one of those casino games and I have no idea how to play it. Le numero gagnant, le 22, noir, Berepas, 22, black. Bro, why Mesdames couldn't it have just been blackjack? Okay, let's go downstairs and do whatever they were talking about. Is that a plant? No, that's my that's my concierge, isn't it? Glottis! Glottis, you can play the piano? Hello, Manny. Hola. <laughs> no fucking way. This is the best timeline. <laughs> Quiet night, huh, Cardinal? Day of the dead ain't good for business, Chief. Oh, last night. Remember last night, Manny? Oh, wait. <laughs> so, day of the dead. It really has been like an exact year. What's that you're playing? Oh, this is just a little, you know, love song for a special lady. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this lady? You think she'll come in tonight? Who, my special lady? No, Meji. You know what, Manny? I think she will. I got a feeling tonight's the night. I love Gladys so much, and I'm so glad that he's tagged along. Sing a little bit of that song, why don't you? Well, I only have this part. S tier crooning. Bone wagon. I like it. <laughs> you know, when we leave, I'm actually gonna miss this place. Ah, oh, Manny, why can't we just stay here? We got our fancy club, we got three squares a day. Max lets me take the bone wagon out on his kitty tack once a week. Plus, we look good in these clothes. Gladys, I can't live in this world forever. It's not where I belong. I've gotta find Mecha and help her. Because if it weren't for me, she'd have been on that train a year ago. Okay, Manny. Well, I'll let you get back to practicing. Duty bound. I need to practice, man. I'm good. <laughs> Why is he so with the shits now? He is so cool. Tequila? Ah, Marillo de Oro. A very fine liqueur filled with solid gold flakes. Yes, I better take this with me for safekeeping. <laughs> what is that? What's that like trashy? Uh, I don't know if it's trashy. I've never had it, but that one. Uh, the booze that all the college kids drink that has the gold flakes in it. It's, it's like a German name. It'll come back to me. I remember when my dad went to like a corner store, I'd pick up a bottle and shake it up just to watch the gold jiggle around in it. Who's this guy? I don't really want to do that. So we got a real casino floor going here. Okay, so I'm sensing there's going to be a lot of uh, gambling gameplay in this chapter. And hopefully I will be good at that. Nope, don't go back. Let's talk with the... The pit manager. I don't really want to do that. I don't really want to do that. 
Well, Manny, what do you want to do? Oh, I see. We're still holding the tequila. Mind if I sit down, Charlie? Of course not, Manny. Who's Charlie? I, I mean, it is your club, right? <laughs> this is so goddamn cool. We're r we run a casino now. Right. So what are you doing in it? Didn't I tell you not to come back until you can pay your bar tab? Oh, <laughs> or they kicked me out of that cat track for printing fake betting stops. So now I have to come here, Manny, which I love, which I love. You got a cough up, I say. How did you print fake betting stubs? With this. Isn't she beautiful? <laughs> the last time I was incarcerated, I shared a cell with the most dishonest con man I ever met. He was strictly small time, and I managed to steal this from him quite easily. Thanks. You never know when this may come in handy. <laughs> hey, give that back Consider to me, Consider your Manny. tab paid. Maybe once you sell your bar tab, eh, Charlie? Oh, Manny. I... I love Manny as a character. He is morally gray. He's kind of a sleazeball. He's not some wandering angel can do no harm. Dude's just, just like, hey, you owe me money. I'm taking this shit. Come up with your tab. I like this. What else can you counterfeit? Nothing. Anything. <laughs> uh, huh. So can you make passports? Manny, you still think like a living man in so many ways. No soul needs a passport. We are all citizens of the same nation, and our king rides a pale horse. So no passports? No. No, that little hologram is so horse. tricky, you know. How about driver's licenses? How about driver's licenses? Sure. Just, um, give me a recent picture. Fifty bucks in, uh, about two weeks, okay? When I think of something I need, I'll come back. I'm not a wishing well, Manny. We could get Gladys a driver's license. I'll bet he'd love that. Why aren't you over at the roulette tables? The roulette is for lonely widows and Frenchmen. Why don't you get some slot machines, Manny? Everybody, old women, little children, they all love slot machines. Slot machines are for babies. And a system, an infallible system for beating them. <laughs> Undesirable element. I'm, I agree with that. I think slot machines attract an undesirable element. That'll bring in all the Fortnite oh. kids. Well, we're all undesirable, Manny. Yeah, but your credit's no good to boot. Tell me your system, Charlie. Tell me your system, Charlie. I can't tell you my secrets. Uh, just this. You have to become one with the bandit, Manny. You you have to get inside the machine and, and make it one to pay. On second thought, stay away from my roulette tables. <laughs> uh, I gotta ask this. That's a nice suit. Where'd you steal it? Manny, if you learn to play the odds like Chow Chila Charlie, then maybe you too can have a suit this fine someday. I don't even think this is the guy we we're supposed to come down and meet. Well, I've got a club to run, so... Oh, yes. Please, Manny. Get on with your glamorous life. I think he hates me. I think he hates me and he's, like, Le not so good at hiding. Gagnon. Le 22. Noir. Berry Paz. 22. Black. Shit, I need to learn how to play roulette. <laughs> <laughs> if this game asks me to play roulette and doesn't explain how, I might actually have to like Google how to play roulette. <laughs> oh, Gladys. You are a simple creature and I love you for it. Hey, you know what, actually? Maybe we can ask him if he'd like a driver's license. Sounds good. I know it. Never mind. Maybe there's other people in the casino I could talk to? How about this dude, the mystic? Not while they're losing. <laughs> Everything okay down here? I'm going to need some more chips if Monsieur Lucky does not call it a night soon. Uh huh. Ooh, is this you an know, officer? Some people say you should always walk away Le from the table when you're on a winning streak. Oh yes, but I'm feeling extra lucky tonight. Le 22, Noir, Barry Paz, 22. Bro, you're gonna lose it all. 
Dudes, they just made sports betting uh, legal in Ohio, and I've got a lot of friends who uh, have been, you know, getting into that because they're just like a bunch of young men with nothing better to do with their disposable income. <laughs> and uh, if there's one thing I can say, Manny is 100% correct. If any of you out there are into gambling and you ever find yourself in a position where you are verifiably ahead, quit. Just quit right there because there is no, it, it is a bad habit to keep on getting greedy. Pigs get fat, hogs get the slaughter, so they say. Like, even even one of my friends, he was $200 ahead, $200 profit, and he stood to win 600 and he backed out. And guess what? If he didn't, he would have won the 600 And that may sound like it was the wrong call, but I will stand by it. It's better to have your money and peace of mind than to write it all out in the hour for triple the, to the value. Anyways, that's, evening, Lupe. that's all I have to say about gambling. Let's get Hi, into this. Mary. I have to tell you about my new organizational system for the coats. Lupe, huh? How's the flow tonight? We're dead tonight, Manny. Everybody's back home for the Day of the Dead, I guess. Except for the casino. The casino's hopping. Why is it that all the people who don't go home are the same people who just love to gamble? Well, I guess <laughs> you've got nothing to go They got a to. problem, that's you've why. Got nothing to lose. Hey, we should put that over the door. Uh, I think she'll come in tonight. I assume we're talking about, uh, Mercedes. Think she'll come in tonight? Manny, you ask me that every night. What am I supposed to say? Mm. You're supposed to say, yes, I think tonight's the night. Yes, I think tonight's the night. That you finally go nuts from waiting for the grand entrance of Ms. Mercedes Colomar. I think that she likes me. Or maybe she's just this friendly with everybody. Okay, tell me all the details about your system. I don't know, maybe I'm just projecting. System. Yay! Okay. I found all these plastic tiles in the back, left over from the automat, and guess what? They all have numbers on them. So what I'm doing is, I give one to everyone who checks a code in and... Manny, you're not even listening to me. You go to all this work organizing your coats, and you don't even care. Lupe. Forget it. Don't pretend to care. I love no, these I characters and dialogues so out. much. I'll tell someone else about it. Someone who cares. <sighs> Please, tell me all about your new co-check system, really. Don't patronize me, Cal. I'm sure that it could be useful. Everything okay back in the land of fur and fedoras? Everything's in order. It's beautiful. I can't wait for people to come in and try the new system. It's so cool. Mm hmm. Let's try one more time. Let's try that again, shall we? Think she'll come in tonight? Yes! I think tonight's definitely the night. Thank you. It's my fault she's out in the woods alone, you know. <sighs> if you say so, Manny. Okay, back to work. Okay. So she's still in the petrified forest, huh? Calavera Cafe. Man, that is dope. I so hope that this is me when I die. Oh? Michi? Manny, help me. I've been lost for so long. Why didn't you look for me? I did. Nightmare. Cue you nightmare sequence. Off. Why? Because you said I was no good. I've been all alone in the world for a whole year. And it's all because of you! Aha! I thought as much would happen. Domino has finally caught up with Colomar. Shit! Shit! We're leaving Gladys behind! Oh, okay, maybe we're not. Holt! Holt, help me out! I need your help again! Thank you. This gonna be an annual thing with you, Manny? <laughs> Every day of the dead, you toss your bones into the drink and I fish them out? I don't plan to be around that long, Velasco. As soon as I find out where that ocean oh, look at the face going, on the moon. I'm after it. Ha <laughs> ha! That ship's going to Puerto Zapato. That's the other side of the world. Ain't no ships going out that way but the old limbo here. 
good. But nothing. If the limbo's my only hope, then I'm already on board. Well, good luck, son. That's all I got to say. Mm-hmm. So, good old Holt here. Man. So, this is a tugboat, and we're gonna go to Zapatos. I forget what he said. I think it was the word for shoes. What's going on in that bottle? A tugboat? This happens to be a perfect scale replica of the SS Lumbago. I'm just having a little trouble getting the walking beam to fit in the neck here. <laughs> That's funny. Because a lumbago is usually more of a problem in the lower back than the neck. Good one. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. Nothing. <laughs> that was a good one. Come on, Holt. I better go finish packing. I. You do that, son. All right, so we're gonna take off then, huh? Are we gonna say goodbye to everyone, or is this urgent? It's locked. I know. I locked it. Can I have the key? Hmm. I. I you. Here, let me help you with that. Ah, there's some things a man's got to do for himself. Respect. Oh. Oh, wow. What is this place? I'm assuming we don't want to set sail yet, because there's probably some cool side quest stuff we can do. Or at least pack. I hope Gladys comes with us, though. Ooh, secret tunnel. Desdemona, she's getting up, licking herself off. Horse races? Oh, Ooh, I want to see. I'm not go. sure what I hate more, crowds or cats, but I'm definitely not what going near either one today. Cat races? Is that what it is? And cats why do you hate cats, Manny? Yeah, it's cat hey. racing. Right up the heels of Louis. Looks like a great night for cat races. Uh-huh. That is a lot of people out there. Cat scratch speeder. Cat scratch speeder. I love the announcer. Wow, this looks like a huge level. I'm gonna just need some time to explore. Calavera. You never come up here to see me anymore. Well, I thought you could use the company with everybody gone for the Day of the Dead. And that, that's when I get off. <laughs> Who is this drink of water? Oh, shit. Manny, you have a thing for for women that you meet like 10 seconds ago. I've noticed this. What's the shuttle waiting for? Oh, they're just cleaning it, but they're very thorough. We run a tight ship here, you know. Can I try out your metal detector? What's your sudden interest in metal detectors, Manny? Hmm... I think it would look cool on my utility belt. Well, I'll show it to you when I'm on break. How's that? Not good enough. I think it's time for your break. We could slip in the back for a little drink. You can tell me all about your job, the danger, the metal detectors. That back room's all business, Manny. And so am I. That poster's a reference to something, but I can't figure out what it is. I've seen that before. What kind of business goes on back there, Carla? Strip searches. Hmm, and you don't qualify. <laughs> the unreal sexual tension in all of these conversations he has with any woman. Why don't I qualify for a strip search? Manny, I agree it would help pass the time, but we have procedures and rules here. And you never know when they're watching. I can only strip search people when a regular search turns up nothing. <laughs> hey, it's worth a try. Ooh, I love this part. Manny, stop role-playing with this woman. We have things we need to be doing. Sir, if you will, please place all of your belongings on the security desk. <laughs> oh, you're clean. Rats, Manny, I almost got to strip search you. Manny is like an unreal womanizer. Good God. Hey, hey, official documents. Don't touch. <laughs> All right. Let's get downstairs. There's still so much to see in this level, and I still have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, my God. 
God, a dirigible. Oh, that's me right there. Manny, are you gonna stop and make a comment? Anytime soon? <laughs> I clicked the button, Manny. Hey, the new blimp is already in full operation. <laughs> Let's just hope they fill it with something non-flammable this time. Oh, maybe that's why we would need passports. Wait, non-flammable <laughs> this time? <laughs> you sliding a Hindenburg reference by me, Manny? Oh my god, how big is this level? The geometry is, like, endless. Late night at the morgue, isn't it, Membrio? Oh, God. Another woman for you to do your thing you to? No, I can't sleep. Never mind. That is not a word. <laughs> Manny, if I don't ID these rose gardens tonight, <laughs> I won't be ready for the two that come in tomorrow. And before you know it, I'm up to my ass in his areas. Damn, ass is right. My bad. Sorry, you hear something? So who is this guy? Digging through flower beds is Membrio's job, not mine. Membrio. Any leads? I know it's a poor coroner who blames his tools, Manny. But how am I supposed to turn up anything with the equipment they give me? Hey, I had a government job for years, man. I know how you feel. Hmm. I don't think picking flowers is really appropriate right now. Well, maybe we'll need flowers later on. I'm just trying to keep everything straight in my head. Just navigating this is going to be a chore in and of itself. Oh my god! What are all of these set pieces? This place is huge! With a blue casket? Is this a club? Oh, it's a club, alright. Hi, what's your name? Are these guys all mimes? But don't you see, when the government fades away, so will our troubles. Ah, nonsense. We will always need some armed force to fight off the return of capitalism. That sort of fascist thinking is as dead as you are, comrade. When we get rid of all the guns, that's when people will begin to self-police. And the public opinion alone will keep them from committing crimes. <laughs> These are the all exact fucking funders. conversations hey, that the kids at my school <laughs> making a scene. It's Manny Calavera, the up, the down, the backside of the nouveau riche. Be it, dinner jacket. We're talking about things you wouldn't understand, like truth and beauty. <laughs> what fucking arrogant assholes. Oh, this is so smartly written. Hi, what's your name? Okay, so most of these people don't want to talk. Lola? Oh, God. What are you doing here? This crowd doesn't go much for souvenir pictures, except maybe of Lenin. Shh. Man, I'm on a stakeout. I'm gonna prove to Maximino once and for all that Fucking I'll lick his no says Manny. <laughs> Still hung up on Max, eh? Take my advice, Angel. Forget about him. He's a gambling racketeer. <laughs> like you. Oh, that hurts, baby. <laughs> Shh. Here they come. Come on, sugar. How about a kiss for the road? Oh, ick. Calm it down, Nick. You're a lawyer. You're not supposed to have feelings. I don't, but I know a good the chart when I coat. see one. Hey! If Maximino sees that, we're going to end up in matching terracotta pots. Don't be silly. He wouldn't hurt me. He loves me. Uh. Manny, at last we're alone. Tell me, how are the bourgeoisie? Fine. How's Max? What is oh, this sudden gramps. classist Start. subplot? <laughs> How are the bourgeoisie? Oh my god. I'm a little worried about Lola. That's because she's doomed, Manny. She fell in love with Maximino. That's the one mistake I never made. Who are all of these people? So much changed in one year. Well, catch you later, hip chick. Keep practicing that lingo, man. You'll get it. <laughs> oh my god. 
Ah, uh, look, the worker. Just a dab will drop you. Hey, man, you didn't see me put the secret ingredient in these coffin shooters, did you? Relax. Olivia stole the recipe from me in the first place. Yeah. <laughs> she steals from the rich and gives to me to pour. Bro, are you fence pressing tequila right now? I gotta see this happen. Please tell me he's taken to that table with pricks. No, take it, take it to the assholes. What kind of crit is this? I'm confused. Hello. Hmm. No effect. Strong stuff. That ought to kill the pain. <laughs> this is like date rape central. Oh my god! I'm getting out of here. I... I don't understand in the least why any of this is a thing yet. <laughs> this is an entire open world game now. Oh my god. How am I gonna get back to Galatis? Okay, Calavera Cafe is this way. Oh, thank God. We're back. We made it. Oh my God. So much crazy shit just happened. Gladys, you gotta hear this shit. I just had a run-in with Domino and Mechi. We're leaving town. What? What? How? Domino's got Mechi. We're going after them tonight. What should I do? Just sit here until I get a boat. Sit here. Check. Okay. Sounds good. I know it. Okay. So good old Holt Skelly is gonna give us the boat. I think we're gonna need passports though. Manny. Hey Charlie. Oh, I still got this to say. All my friends are lonely widows and Frenchmen. Except me, Manny. I'm here to keep you sane. Well, I've got a club to run, so. Oh yes. Please, Manny. Get on with your glamorous life. There is such a, like, class tension in this chapter. All the, all the, like, fucking proletariat masses are down by the blue casket. And then all the high rollers come up here. God, we've got a lot of stuff now. Where's the counterfeit device? Oh, it's this thing, isn't it? Maybe I should I miss you. put this in his face. I'm keeping this little gold mine to myself. Please press your beds. Hang on, maybe I can just use it on my own? <laughs> what the hell is this? How does it... It's some kind of counterfeit device, but I don't even know how it works. Glot, give me instructions. I don't really want to do that. No, I didn't want to... Okay, maybe we need to talk to the, the bellhop or the concierge. I love her little hat. Evening, Lupe. Hi, Manny. I have a note for you from Lola. Lola? Yes. Now, where is it? Where, 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 where? Oh, here. So no, organized. Wait, dang, I have a whole new system for messages. Just let me... Here. No, no, wait. Ah, be quiet. Here it is. Wait a second. It's empty. There was something inside. It felt like a key. A key? Yes! But did somebody come back here and snake the key while I was sorting the coats? Who would do that? They messed up my whole system! Shit. Evening, Lupe. She ain't got time for it. Hi, Manny. Okay. Back to work. Okay. So, 
Lola, who I think was the photographer, I think, sent me a key and somebody snaked it. Damn it, I can't keep any of these names straight. We just met like eight new characters. Lola, Lola, where are you? Okay, let's go find Lola. I'm gonna have to travel back to the seedy underbelly. I think she was in here. The lady who taken pictures, but I was talking over it too much. Blue casket. Just doesn't have the zing of Calavera Cafe, you know? <laughs> Blue casket. Okay, she's still off her shit. What are you pricks talking about? Buenas noches, comrades. Hey, Manny, no offense, but we don't have time for establishment types like yourself. <laughs> what makes you guys think I'm so establishment? You smell like bacon and oppression, man. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh my god. Fucking hipsters. Is this Lola? It's Olivia Ofrenda. Olivia. Open mic night seems like a big hit. She must run the place. Takes those timid souls a while and she bounces a lot. What are you doing with a snake like Nick? I'd lay it on you, Manny, but uh, I don't think you'd get it. <laughs> Messing around with your boyfriend's lawyer is pretty dangerous. Oh, maybe I was wrong. You do get it. Man, Celso was kind of right about the treachery of women, not gonna lie. You think Nick would hurt her? Only if he finds her and take it from me. He's not good at finding things. <laughs> Go to commercial! <laughs> Go to commercial! Maybe it would help if you went up there and started things rolling. Oh, Manny, read poetry in my own club? <laughs> that would be like this whole place was just a big temple set up to worship me. <laughs> oh, come. Okay. Alive. We <laughs> slept. Life's just, just some. Oh, we're doing a poetry I slam now? In a warm, cozy. Bed. Buried. We wake. wake. The flesh dream is over, Daddy. Now that we're all crazy and dead. Who's got the bongos? That was great. Yeah, but that's the last one. Oh my god. A little dark in here, don't you think? Dark and cold, like the hearts of men. Uh. uh huh. You know? I'm thinking of buying this place. Really? I thought about buying yours for a while. But then I just decided to ask my boyfriend, Max, to buy it for me. Oh, uh, yeah. You can have it. I'm leaving town. Manny, you sound so exciting all of a sudden. Why are you leaving town? <laughs> Johnny Law, baby. Johnny Law, baby. You see, I'm a grifter. I'm bad news. Yeah, right. You're running after that ghost chick everyone says you're still so uptight about. Well, I have a poem I wrote just for you. Pay attention because it's pretty short. Here it goes. Ch uh, 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 mm. <laughs> Bitch, please. Hey, how about another poem? Okay. Ashes to ashes. To ashes to ashes to ashes to ashes to ashes to ashes. Yeah, I think she used up her best material. To ashes to ashes to ashes. Just gonna skip that. Thank you. These people are so full of themselves. That was great. Yeah, but that's the last one. Goodbye. Well, catch you later, hip chick. Keep practicing that lingo, man. You'll get it. Okay. Um. I'm assuming Lola is not down here. I don't really need that the waiter clean up after himself. Deal soup. Can I take any of the stuff? I'm not gonna eat off of dirty plates. Can I take any and new I'm plates? I'm not going to clean them. Can I go this way? No. All right. Well, let's get out of here. Lola was decisively not here, <laughs> so I'm never coming back. I, did I even go into this building here? I don't think I did. I know that the, uh... The gardener is in the basement. But what about the top side? No, I've never been here. What a horrible jail cell. Then again, he sure taught Gladys a lesson that time. Hey, yo. Only Police Chief Bogan knows how to get in there. Police Chief Bogan? 
Reward offered for cargo stolen from shipyard receiving area, including a large suitcase bearing the initials HL. HL. Do we know any HLs? Reward offered for cargo okay, stolen. Okay, we'll keep an eye out for that. So this is the jail right here, and the coroner lives in the basement. That makes sense. Maybe Lola was the police officer, or the security guard, who kept on fooling around with me. I, I can't get over the insane amount of sexual tension <laughs> in this game. It's, it's, it's totally its charm, but... Oh my god. Now, remind me, are you Lola? Can I talk with her? Now I gotta walk all the way around, okay. No, this is Carla. Why don't you come by the club anymore? Well, to tell you the truth, Manny, it's your little coat check girl. All that bubbly energy, I just wanna strangle her. <laughs> Try that, it doesn't stop her. Uh, wait, what? <laughs> well, see ya, Carla. All right, Manny. You know what, actually, this husband or break is, could be important. When's your break? Dawn. Oh, that's too late. I'm shipping out tonight. Yeah, right. I've fallen for that line too many times. No, really. Busy night? Hardly. Everybody's gone home for the holiday already. This place is dead, and I'm bored, Manny. Bo so, is it time for your break yet? I told you not till dawn. Kind of romantic, though, don't you think? Okay. <laughs> God, Manny is such a player. So this Lola girl must be the one who was taking pictures of people. I don't think we can go to the cat races. She has like the the leggings and the weird statue hat. God, I never even went this other way across the bridge. What the hell is over here? I know the barges with good old Holt. Oh, and is that the, the blue skeleton right there? I think it is. Okay, I think I'm starting to understand where everything is. Who are these goons? What the? Oh, they're they're spirit creatures, like uh, Gladys, I think. No, wait, they're bees. What the hell? Cold one, huh, Terry? Yeah, it's always cold when you're unemployed, Manny. <laughs> Longshoremen bees? Who's unemployed? Aren't you guys in the union? The union? <laughs> they don't look after us, little guys. They're run by the coppers. And you of all people should know, Manny, that the cops are in bed with the gambling joints. Yeah, I am. I am probably in bed. Oh. Hey, I run an honest joint. We ain't in bed with nobody. What about the protection money? We pay every week. On the nose, through the nose, like an honest place should. See what I mean? This town is just a big conga line of hustlers, all laughing and dancing and scratching each other's backs. Wow. If the union is crooked, why don't you register a complaint? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one, Manny. <laughs> nice Did one, you Manny. That, guys, he thinks we should register a complaint. <laughs> Why Say psych like right now. You don't know the deal down here on the docks, do you, Manny? If you want to get the jobs, you have to pay the unions extra dues, and that ain't cheap. We don't pay, and so they put us on barrel duty. Barrel duty, eh? Why don't you just pay the union off then? Just don't have money. Our pride, man. He was straight stingers, you know. Not to mention we just don't have any cash to spare now that we're not working. I mean, it's like a problem where uh, uh, the solution uh, makes the problem uh, worse. Like a catch twenty-two? Yeah. <laughs> wow. I wish I knew ways like that. Let's go with this. You bees are being exploited. Yeah. You should do something about it. Yeah, what can we do? We're just a handful of unorganized drones. We don't know nothing about nothing except just how to take it on a chin. Uh huh. Well, in that case, I think you're just a bunch of complainers. You don't know what it's like, man. Every day we come down here, we try and make an honest living. We find out that you gotta be a crooked bee to win down here. He knocks the pollen out of you, man. He makes you weak. Mm-hmm. If the cops own the union, 
and gambling's in bed with the cops. Yeah, yeah, and then who really runs the gambling, right? Well, no offense, but uh, Max Amino is really the big boy in town, obviously. But word is, he gets his orders from some hardcore gangsters in El Mero. Yeah, that fancy cat track is really just a big laundromat. If oh. you get my drift. You bees gotta be strong. Things just aren't the way they should be down here, Manny. It's like the worker bees, they do all the work. But we can't affect the, uh, the, uh... Ah, it's like the way that things are produced should be controlled by... I mean, we should... Ah, forget <laughs> it. I'm just a dumb, hungry, out-of-work bee. S sounds like you need to bees the means of production. I'm just kidding. Can I talk to this one? Is there different dialogue for each bee? What's the buzz, boys? It's like we want to control the me. Okay, I see. It's this way. Okay, yeah, so this reads right back to the blue casket. Let's go speak with good old Tugboat Jones over here. What if I just tell him I'm ready to head out? All right, so I'm ready to sail. On what? On the limbo, man. Let's go. Manny, Manny, Manny. The limbo's not a passenger ship. She's small cargo, son. And every hand on board works. All work. Our work, what are your skills? Sales and restaurant management. Oh, hey, there is one opening on the limbo's crew. Yeah? Yeah, it's in the engine room. And your buddy Glottis would be perfect for it, but he'd have to get his own tools. Uh-huh. Okay, if I get Glottis some tools, can we board? Uh, he can, yes. No offense, Manny. But there's just no place for you aboard the limbo. She's fully manned already. In fact, her whole crew's on board, ready to sail at dawn. <laughs> Except for that one guy. Except for what guy? Who's the one guy who hasn't boarded yet? Yeah, well, Seaman Naranja's a little late. But he'll be here before they sail. Naranja? What job did Naranja have? He ran the galley. Aha! Restaurant management. Yeah, it's similar to what you're doing now. Aha! Except the fish is fresher on the limbo. Naranja? Okay. What if Naranja doesn't show up? I can fill his spot, right? Manny, you're not even in the Maritime Union. I know that, and you know that. <laughs> but we're two guys who can keep secrets, right? Glottis is exempt, but the captain will ask for your card. And if you don't have one, they'll serve you to the sharks like chum. And what's worse, I'll get fined. That's a tough union boy, and I don't mess with them. <laughs> okay. What kind of tools does Glottis need? Authentic CB equipment only. So let me get this straight. If I get Gladys some tools, then I can get him a job on the limbo. And if Simon Naranja doesn't show up for work, but he will, and I get a Maritime Union card, which you'll never get, then I can sail on the limbo in the morning. Jeez. I guess so. Okay. Where do I get authentic CB equipment? Why don't you ask a CB? Afraid of getting stung? <laughs> Uh huh. Where do you think Naranja is? Probably home selecting recipes for the trip. I better go finish packing. I, you do that, son. Well, I feel bad, but I think I know what we have to do now, and that is we are going to drug Naranja <laughs> or get him just sloshed so that he can't show up in time for his job. But wow, we uh, I should have just asked him that earlier. We have our heading. Let's go f talk to the sea bees. What's the buzz, boys? I mean, you know what's wrong, Manny? We workers up and we didn't... Hmm. Since you're not using your tools, think I could borrow them? Well, we sold them to feed our families. Then how are you ever gonna work? I, I told you things were messed up down here, Manny. I, I told you. Nah, that's rough. You guys know a seaman, Naranja? Nah, sea bees and sailors don't mix. But you're in the same union. Well, maybe so, but some traditions are sacred there, Manny. Hey, can I borrow one of your union cards? What, are you kidding? You know how much I had to pay Chow Chilla Charlie to get mine? You bees gotta be strong. Easy for you to say, Topsider. So, they didn't help me in the least. 
Hey, chum. What a sad story. These two sprouted and no one came down to claim them? Oh, these are bodies. I didn't realize that. Death makes sad stories of us all. Hmm. How's business? Booming, unfortunately. More crime every day. And more and more sproutings like these. Something's happening back in El Moro, I think. And its dark hand is finally reaching us here in Rubacava. Mm hmm What exactly are you looking for? I'm digging for a treasure that part of me does not wish to find. For when I uncover that sad doubloon that tells me who this poor soul is, my reward is not riches. But the chance to make a phone call and break somebody's heart. Of course, with this equipment, the search could go on for some time. He needs a metal detector. Aha! Uh -huh. Do you ever worry that your job is getting to you, Membrio? Well, forensic botany is a trying job. <laughs> forensic botany. But have you ever spent much time here with a florist? In life, they became florists because they love flowers. But here, a flower is a symbol of pain, of death within death. Their conflicted feelings build and build. And eventually, they become quite mad. Thanks for the tip. I guess I'll send balloon bouquets from now on. Mm hmm. <laughs> balloon bouquets, that stupid clown. Can I help? Sure. Grab hold of this leaf right here. Manny? I can't do it. I know. I was just testing. <laughs> How do you do this job? Without becoming jaded, you mean? My secret to happiness, Manuel, is that I have the heart of a 12-year-old boy. I keep it over here in a jar. Would you like to see it? No. <laughs> Sorry. Old coroner joke. Old coroner joke. And Brio, why do you stay in town? Why don't you head off toward the Ninth Underworld? Manny. You can only search for something for so many years before you stop believing in it altogether. You don't believe in it? You don't believe in the Ninth Underworld? Why do you think we're all here in Rubakava? Because you're waiting to earn off your time or you can't afford passage or... Manny, we've given up. All of us. When you've been here long enough, you will too. Well, that's so sad. Always nice to have visitors. Well, that's kind of a damper of a way to close out this episode, but I think I'm going to call it here. Uh, this game is so fun. <laughs> I actually really enjoy this. It's very casual. The progression is always very tricky and poorly explained, but gosh, it, it just so makes up right with the characters and dialogue. So I'm having a great time. Next time, we're probably going to need to use that walkthrough a whole lot more. This time, I just got to get my bearings and explore, but we're going after Meche and, and Domino, and it's going to be a good time.